hey what is up guys my name is Selhan. you are watching gadgets is fear so this is my oneplus pad and we just got the latest oxygenos update so this is the update as you guys can see let me just show you this is the update it's around 840 mbs and the version is 0.601 and we have a lot of new changes we have you know ai for uh, notes which improves visual consistency we have camera which can now return to the original filter without reopening for a better experience they have also improved the system performance and system stability in some cases and these are the things which it has like this will not delete any package or something and all so let's actually just install this 840 mb update and see what are the things which are new let's go The update has finally finished and this is the oneplus pad with the latest oxygen os version let me actually just show you as you guys can see this is the 15.0.601 which we have just downloaded now it improves the look and feel of notes ai for visual consistency let's actually test it out so we are here in the notes app let's see some text if i have okay this is the text let's try to use ai right now and see what are the things which we can do now it looks really nice like the apple intelligence or something if I type polish, let's see how will it polish this. Now, this was one of the, you know, scripts I was trying to write for a Xiaomi Pad 7 versus the OnePlus Pad review. So this is what it is doing and polishing. I guess it's actually quite good. I can say like, hey, welcome to Gadgets for your trusted source for latest tech in latest in tech news and honest reviews. I'm your host, Salha, and today we are diving into a highly anticipated Xiaomi Pad 7. This tab has been generating significant buzz, and after exploring its features, I can understand why. With its impressive specifications and potential to be a top contender in the tablet market, let's dive deep into the Xiaomi Pad 7, and let's see what makes it so special. Like, obviously, I'm gonna put something from my words as well. I'm not gonna read line by line and say like that, but but I guess yeah, they have actually improved the AI. It's making it great. Like, look at that. It's also telling me that show app loading gaming and multitasking demos like the cutscenes, right? So they have done a great job. Like, yes, now the Note CI is much nicer and better. It is a little bit laggy as you guys can see while scrolling up and down because it is generating the content in real time. But I'm impressed. I like it. So we can just stop it here. There you go. It's again generating. We can try insert. <clears throat> it's still gonna generate so that is something which they have actually changed now it won't stop unless and until it generates everything continue with the remaining section of the script follow the same polishing approach wow so now they have genuinely improved the ai which is kind of nice i was expecting it to be an improvement and we have really seen that now camera can also return to the original without filters after reopening for a better experience let's actually try that as well so let me actually find my camera app there you go and try to apply a filter first so here we have a lot of filters let's apply fresh and as you guys can see the fresh filter is applied i can take a photo in fresh let's take a photo of my hand there you go i'm gonna close the camera app and again open and see if it returns to the original filter okay it's still at fresh so i guess they are trying to say that the filter which you will apply will stay applied it won't uh, get back to the reset i guess that's what they're trying to say they have actually misphrased it but that's fine then we have improved system performance and stability now the only area where it's not stable is a scrolling google feed and still as you guys can see there is a bit of lag in that so this is a complaint which i have been like saying for years now that at times they improve the scrolling of the google feed but 90 percent of the time it's not smooth so that is something i wish they can just fix it other than that it's quite smooth like the tab is already very smooth it's at a point where it's the most matured version of oxygen os i don't think it's gonna get the oxygen os 16 if it does that's gonna be awesome because i would be the first person to actually use that but overall it's already very smooth so no problems whatsoever so i guess the major improvement was just the ai but there's one thing i would like to tell that this area of the tab is actually heating a lot i don't know why but this is very very hot maybe because of the update that i was doing but this area is very hot it's like overheating at this point so that is something which you should know that the tab is heating at this area i don't know why or how but this is something you should also know if you are trying to upgrade to the latest version so i guess you should actually wait for my full review of the latest update 
I will check the overheating issue and all if I use the tab for more times and then I can tell you should you update or not because do not update like instantly otherwise you will have a lot of issues because as you guys can see I can honestly tell you this is very very hot in this area and it has never happened this hot before so I think there is some still issues left with the Oxygen OS update which is released in 28 Feb so yeah I think you guys the best option would be to wait for my full review of this update and by that time, subscribe Gadgets Sphere. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.